Okay, so cauliflower and walnuts to make a burger seems wild, but we recently did that with a taco and it came out really good. So let's get started. This is really, really gonna be easy and awesome. So the first thing we have here is our head of cauliflower and I have some walnuts. First thing that we're gonna wanna do is just trim up and clean our cauliflower and break it down into cauliflower florets. We're not gonna need this whole head. Um, maybe about half of it, I'm thinking. Now I'm just gonna eyeball this out, but really we need about two cups of cauliflower and we're gonna be using about one cup of walnuts. Now I'm just gonna use my small food processor here and we're just going to pulverize these into kind of like meaty bits, like what you would see the consistency of like ground beef. I'm gonna throw about half of these into my little food processor. I like using this little food processor, but I really, really need a bigger one. Along with about half the walnuts. And then we're just gonna process these until they're meaty kind of consistency. Don't go too small. If you go too small, then it's just gonna, it's not gonna have the right chew. And then just make sure you kind of sort through your, uh, your first batch to see if there's any like bits that are too big. Throw that back into your little food processor for the second round. Now the second round, we're gonna kind of pulverize maybe a little bit smaller. Not much, but you want, you know, the different pieces of consistency. The smaller bits are gonna act more as like your binder, where the bigger bits are gonna act more as like your chew. That's why I kinda like to break it up in the half. Okay, so now that we have our ground consistency with the walnuts and cauliflower, now we're gonna flavor it up and add our binders, the things that are gonna like stick this together, make it, uh, make it taste and have the texture of a burger. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some dry seasonings. This is just basic seasonings, nothing really super special. For that, all you need is one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one tablespoon cocoa powder. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon mushroom seasoning. Now this is, I use it in almost every video. This is mushroom seasoning. Uh, you find these at a lot of like Asian markets and online, I'll leave a link to my Amazon store where you can find it. Uh, it's called mushroom seasoning. It comes in a bag, has like a daikon, bunch of veggies on it. Um, it's not the same stuff that you get at like Trader Joe's. Uh, where it's just dried up mushrooms. This is uh, dried mushrooms, mushroom extract, some salt. Uh, sometimes it has MSG in it, this doesn't, but it's essentially a glutamate bomb. It makes anything super, super savory. I mean, I, I use this, I fill up this jar. You'll probably see next video, this will be filled. I use it in everything. It's so good. It's so, it's like a secret weapon for recipes. And by the way, if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button and click the like button. It really helps get these videos out. Uh, next up, we're gonna be using some nutritional yeast. Now the mushroom seasoning and nutritional yeast can be interchangeable. You can double up the mushroom seasoning, you could double up the nutritional yeast, or you could do both like I'm doing here. They both add a touch of savoriness to it. And then lastly, for your flavoring, we're gonna add one teaspoon of blackstrap molasses. This does something very specific. Um, it actually gives the recipe a little bit of like an irony taste. Now, I just wanna give this a quick mix, make sure all of these ingredients are kind of mixed through thoroughly, really nice. Okay, so at this point, I feel like we have a pretty healthy look to our burger. Um, this is looking pretty good. And now all we need to do is just add our binders. I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of cornstarch along with two tablespoons of methyl cellulose. And methyl cellulose is something that you could pick up on like Amazon. Um, I recommend getting the, the Modernist Pantry brand like I was talking about earlier. You know, one of the easiest to get and it's, it's pretty much fail proof. I've always had uh, the Modernist Pantry brand methyl cellulose work really good in recipes for me. Now at this point, this is a really firm block and this isn't going to form a burger. It's just gonna crumble. I'm gonna massage some of this cauliflower just to kind of see if we can break up some of the water and it kind of draw out some of that water into the methyl cellulose. But right off the bat, you can really see how that went from a super crumbly mixture to something that's fairly formable. I mean, it's actually really formable. This is almost better than I thought. I mean, that's really nice. I think this is gonna be a good burger. Now, while that methyl cellulose is sucking out all that liquid, we're just gonna add in just a little bit more to kind of help bind this together. I think a quarter of a cup should honestly do it. You don't want the mixture to be too wet, but you also don't want the mixture to be too dry. If it's too dry, it's gonna crumble up. And then methyl cellulose also acts as a really good emulsifier. So I'm gonna do not much, maybe a teaspoon, two teaspoons of some olive oil. <laughs> this, is, this is wild how this is coming out. 
really just absolutely wild. Okay, so at this point, this is mixed in. It's all massaged up really well. I really think everything's emulsified in. We need to let that methyl cellulose hydrate up. So I'm just gonna cover this up, let it sit for about 30 minutes. So these have been sitting for about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and turn these into patties. All I'm gonna do is just use a non-stick pan, make sure my hands are slightly damp. That's gonna help it so that way they don't stick. And then we're just gonna make, you know, slightly thinner patties than what like your normal Beyond Burger would be. I mean, just look, look at these. Now, before we bake these, I'm gonna season them up real quick. Now for these burgers specifically, I'm gonna be using just the McCormick's Grill Mate hamburger seasoning. I've used this in the past. It's it's a really good hamburger seasoning, especially for plant-based patties. It really kind of brings out like some of that like smokiness of it. Now, you could also just use salt, pepper, and maybe a little bit of like garlic salt. Um, just some salt and pepper would be fine here too. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. Let's throw these in the oven, let them cook for about 30 minutes. We're gonna flip halfway through that should be it. And then look at these. We're gonna pull them out of the oven, throw them on some buns. We're testing these simple, so it's just getting a little bit of ketchup. I definitely need some pickles. Monica's not doing any pickles. I don't know why, who doesn't want pickles? But anyway, let's get these going. They look amazing. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, baby, look at these oh burgers. They look amazing. I'm, I'm just beyond stoked. Cheers, burger time. Mmm. That's mm. legit. It's really good. I can definitely taste some garlic. Yeah. <laughs> that's just in the seasoning. I might have put too much garlic. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's really good. Wow, these are really good. These are probably one of my better, mm -hmm. simpler burgers I've made. So these are walnut and cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, that's so good. Yeah, so I do your thing, it. baby. What do you think? Give me the flavors. Yeah, it's definitely garlicky. Um, it's not like nutty. I mean, you can tell there's a nut because of the crunch, but it's not like it tastes nutty. Um, it tastes meaty for sure. Let's see. It doesn't have the same like bite as like a burger. Like, you know, I can tell it's not a burger, but like it's pretty dang close. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think any meat eater would be really happy with this. Mm -hmm. It's even better than like a boca. Or it's better like than that. the boca. It's, um, it's like... And it's not soft, like, you know, you think like cauliflower or whatever, like, it's not like a soft, squishy burger. It's mm -mm. definitely like, it tastes like a burger, you know? It's Very a dense. good texture, I love it. Mm-hmm, that's pretty awesome. But I'm giving this like a super thumbs up, like double thumbs up. Mm-hmm, good job. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that was really good, baby. Mm-hmm.